What I'd like to talk about today is research. Just for a moment, there are two things that I would like to talk about. Research can be faulty in their results if they overgeneralize because their sample size was too small, or if they ask leading questions, which makes it more likely that an individual will answer a particular answer based on the question that they asked. What this means is that uh, an experiment may have a very small number of people in it, but they generalize to a much larger population. That would be inappropriate. The other thing is, depending on what questions were asked, sort of, lead, my, my idea is that if you design a question well enough, you will always get the answer that you want. Not because you're forcing people to answer that way, but it just means that the most likely answer you would get is the one that you are looking for. For example, people don't have um, mail-in surveys that say, please write your ideas on and then have a big blank. They force you to choose one, two, or three, or A, B, and C. That means that there's only a limited amount of information that they're ever going to get. In these ways, things you see on the internet and television may be misleading. Not necessarily because they, they started out to mislead you, but they are false nonetheless.